Greetings to my team of 144 and all star seeds, light workers, and way showers. Today is 4102019, April 10th, 2019. It is my sister's birthday today. Happy birthday, sister. Hope you're all having a beautiful and blessed day. Many more energies coming in today. Many people feeling exhausted, overwhelmed. Some people are feeling more mellow waves. We, let's see, we entered into the Jupiter retrograde. That's from today, the 10th to May 1st, where, where we drop down a gear and accelerate into higher vibrations. And we're still feeling the fire of Aries on the new moon from the 5th. And we will transition into the full moon in Libra on the 19th, which is justice and truth. Today the Schumann resonance jumped to 20 hertz. There are several earthquakes and the cyclone bomb in the Midwest. As the earth's going through these ascension energies, these frequencies rising, there's going to be many twists and turns in this story. Last night I had many more, more vivid dreams. It's funny because many of the dreams throughout the story are places I visit that I've spent many lifetimes and it's kind of nostalgic feeling. It's this feeling of nostalgia where it's like returning home, getting to spend time with family. And there was a part in the dream, because with all these codes coming in, many people seeing 555, 222, the 3773 is coming through for many people, 444, 711, you know, all day long these codes are coming in. And in my dream last night, there were two vehicles, two cars, that were parked next to each other and then the, on the side of both vehicles it was 555 and that was like the model of the car and the model of the vehicle it was a very interesting uh, surreal looking vehicle so let us know in the comments below the, these videos what you're experiencing today now tomorrow is on 411 it's an 1111 portal many people are reporting and experiencing the rainbow portal opening this is going to be a major opening in this rainbow bridge the rainbow waves coming through so we're supposed to be feeling these multicolored multi-dimensional energies waves these rays the multicolor rays coming through you could see the violet the pink the blue the purple green for the heart center these will come flowing through uh, from the central sun coming through filtering through our sun and through the higher dimensionals that are surrounding this earth now many people are seeing ships around the planet uh, many reports in Africa Australia South America all over the world <coughs> these ships are coming in the video yesterday spoke about uh, many of these the Atlantis command coming in coming through from the great central race so today's transmission is a transition to the next root race our light body is radically changing now this is from Lisa Renee from energeticssynthesis.com what is transpiring at the physical levels of human bodily evolution is expanding into new human race DNA configurations that are connecting into the next root race cycle that generates a new ascending timeline for humanity. This is causing ripples of genetic mutations in those groups that are awakening their light body and further activating dormant sections of higher dimensional DNA imprints. 
during this particular phase that is leading into the new ion or aeon, eon, however you say that, the higher level of DNA becoming activated now through new protein coded genes is unprecedented on the earth plane. Proteins are assembled from amino acids using information encoded in genes. Proteins perform a vast array of functions within our body. This includes catalyzing metabolic reactions, DNA activation and replication, responding to stimuli and transporting molecules from one location to another. This change impacts the planetary cellular record and further changes the configuration of particle matter composition and how that is arranged in the raw material of the human body. Proteins are the principal pr performers within the cell and carry out the duties specified by the information encoded in the genes. Hence, many of us are undergoing drastic changes within our physical body functioning during this phase in which the protein synthesis function in our cells is becoming much more active. This activity is related to the global exposure to new spectrums of light, sound, and frequency which activate our cells to turn on genetic switches. Protein synthesis is the process whereby biological cells generate new and varied protein chains. Protein will often be synthesized directly from genes during the process of transcription of DNA to RNA in the cell's nucleus. The entire process is responsible for each individual's genetic expression. As a result of this enhanced protein synthesis activity, which turns on geni genetic switches, there is a dark agenda to interfere with the natural protein th synthesis function by generating faulty proteins via the consistent low exposures to toxic chemicals and heavy metals in pharmaceuticals, vaccines, chemtrails, and in mass-produced foods. Injecting these toxic chemicals in low dosages directly into the bloodstream is the most effective way to interfere with the protein synthesis and impair natural immune functioning over a period of time. By intentionally generating autoimmune diseases in the human race over a period of time, by consistently administering drugs and chemical toxins that suppress immune functions, this interferes with the protein synthesis function required to assemble higher DNA strands. In a few short years, some groups will, will study what is occurring to sections of the population now with these genetic anomalies that are evolving into the human body. This will provide direct evidence for genetic evolution of the human species, which will become an indisputable fact in the science and spiritual communities in the future. Essentially, what is occurring is the process of genetic mutation through new protein-coded chains which stimulate great evolutionary changes in behavioral traits that enhance, enhance human consciousness levels over time. These current changes impact human DNA which alter timelines and this greatly impacts the future evolution of humanity. As we transition from, from one root race to another, these species factors such as the physiological functions of the human body are rapidly responding to the massive alterations that are occurring in the earth body. This means that the collective human blueprint and human bodies are responding to the impending biological evolution that is required as a result of the planet's structural shift. The current evolutionary pressures are causing energy to form anomalies to occur, especially with many environmental and physical factors. This new consciousness platform requires specific physiological adaptations to the genetic changes that are occurring in the human race. In order to acclimate to the new set of conditions and energies that we are being further exposed to as they are related to the human evolutionary process, those awakening now are in the forefront of embodying these adaptations as they are the consciousness bridge spanning into the future birth cycle of the next root race of the human species. For many multidimensional people on the path of ascension, how we connect into many levels of the consciousness structure has radically changed. 
Our light body is radically changing, and our physical body is undergoing a series of adaptations in order to meet the new energy requirements. Our previous ways of consciousness, connection, and communication are in fluctuation while our light body is being reconfigured to accommodate the changing planetary architecture, solar architecture, and beyond. Structural, physiological, and behavioral adaptations are necessitated by the deep impacts that are being made by current evolutionary forces sweeping onto the planet, reaching critical mass. Behavioral adaptation to the changing consensus that humanity is manifesting the consciousness state of the global reality through a self-directed thought follows energy paradigm as well as adapting to the energetic conditions that realization imposes on the entire species. This is an example of adaptive traits coming online. Behavioral adaptations such as these resonate with the universal natural laws and as such they further activate the higher DNA functions in the human biology. For the human race to survive in this new energetic terrain, we are being forced to transform our beliefs and develop a variety of new behavioral patterns of adaptive traits. Adaptive traits stimulated by higher truths, such as comprehending the universal natural laws through which we are governed, further support evolution of the collective human race blueprint. By helping to catalyze the future generation's capacity to better evolve into higher functioning DNA, the human race is currently in a phase of adaptation to the planetary evolutionary process, and this is a difficult re-education and learning process required to continue to evolve and develop higher consciousness. It is made difficult because of the current mind control state over the nature of reality and the lack of public knowledge being shared about the rapid electromagnetic shifts impacting the planet that describe planetary ascension. At the individual level, each person must decide if they are willing to open their mind and release dependencies upon the old paradigm of the inverted systems and the subjugation to the controller archetype as their main authority. The controller archetype of the false king of tyranny exists everywhere, inside people that are politicians, employers, gurus, any person we give our power away to willingly. At this time, we must distinguish the differences between discerning tyrants and true leaders, as these are very different roles and should not be confused or equated. <clears throat> a true leader does not want to take our power away, while a tyrant will take the position of total authority over others. To spiritually evolve, we cannot play into the controller's games anymore. We must reclaim our personal power and accept individual responsibility for ourselves. So thank you for joining me here today. Now this is just another lesson in the transformation that we're going through, through this ascension process. And it is all about taking responsibility for our reality, for our experience, for what we are manifesting into this new earth, because our powers of manifestation are evolving, they're multiplying, accelerating. So be aware of what's in your conscious mind, in your conscious thought, because anything that you think in the mind is tenfold within the subconscious and then a hundredfold in the unconscious, what we call the inner conscious mind, because we're bringing our awareness deep into the unconscious, into what uh, many traditions call the void or emptiness. As we go through that void to directly to the source, we're awakening all the codes within our DNA to bring that pure awareness into this realm, fully awake, fully aware, f fully realized. We're activating light body, rainbow body activated. We are all in this together. Each and every one of us are on mission. Every star seed, light worker, way shore is being activated with our higher missions, our higher purpose. And we're becoming teachers for all of humanity to help all beings to go within. Now, anyone that I teach, 
any R2 uh, spiritual practice, meditative practice, whatever you want to call it, I tell them I am not their guru. You know, everyone is their own guru. You must go within, seek ye the kingdom of heaven within, find your true self. That still white magnetic light is guiding you within into that still center. That still center of joy, bliss, peace, and love. So go within, stay in the heart center. Let us know what you feel tomorrow through this rainbow portal opening. <coughs> we are activating the new codes, the new DNA, and transforming from the carbon based to the crystalline based DNA, 12 to 13 strands. So have an amazing and beautiful and blessed day. You can join other light workers on our website, primedisclosure.com forward slash chat. You can just type in any username and sign in and connect with other uh, light workers around this realm, around the world. So much love, light, and blessings, beautiful beings of light. I love you all.